<laughs> G'day guys, welcome to another week. There's lots of wonderful stuff to show you again. Um, how about we start with the greens? Celery, um, beautiful clean bunches, nice long stems, not a lot of leaf. Um, they're all around about that size, good supply this week. Um, again, the half bunch of the way to go. Fabulous herbs, coriander and parsley with some wonderful basil. Uh, silver leaf, smaller bunches this week, but they're nice and clean and fresh. The bok choy are magnificent bunches. They're a nice size and they're lovely, clean, fresh white stems. Um, beautiful foliage. Uh, not too many uh, slugs and snails been chewing on this one. Cos lettuce are a nice size. Butter lettuce, nice open heart style. Broccoli, nice clean tight heads and actually on special this week. Snow peas have been quite hard to get um, this summer. Um, but it seems like there's uh, quite a nice big flush on right at the end of uh, of the season and they're they're fantastically fresh. We've got the wild rocket salad, the baby spinach, and the uh, the salad mix, the masculine, the mixture of leaf, and sprouts. We've been meaning to talk about sprouts for a while. Um, we're coming into a good supply of these um, from Energetic Greens uh, in New South Wales, down at Wilson's Creek. Broccoli sprouts, one of the most healthy things you can have. Uh, you've got your radish sprouts, your mung beans, and your alfalfa. Excellent cucumbers, both Lebanese and green. Green capsicum, wonderful meaty pieces. Same for the red. Um, they really feel nice and solid, lovely fleshy. The beans again this week are from Hamilton, our preferred grower, and they're magnificent. They're magnificent beans, uh, spotless and superbly sweet. Go through bunches this week. Um, they're actually, you know, they're quite tiny. Um, you, you'll get your four bulbs thereabouts, uh, but not a great deal in terms of tops. So the, the eggplants this week, it's about the average size. They're really dense and heavy. Um, I'm not sure whether that relates to perhaps the, uh, the cooler evenings, and so we've got slightly slower growing conditions. How about that storm we had on, on Friday night? Uh, now at Pinehaven, actually on the, uh, the banks of uh, Wallace Creek, they woke up Saturday morning to find um, half their farm underwater. Anyway, look, cherry tomatoes, we'll probably get another week or two from them. Yes, that, those rains actually washed away a lot of the seedlings that they just planted. The established stuff survived, and uh, so there's a fresh flush of corn on this week from Chris and Lorraine. Uh, you can see they're lovely and fresh. Now, these were picked yesterday, and these will be for Tuesday's deliveries. And they're picking another box fresh Tuesday for Wednesday deliveries. Um, and as I've alluded to before, once you pick corn, the starches, um, sugars start to turn into starches. Um, so these will be fresh, and fantastic Tuesday, Wednesdays. And there'll be more again for Friday. Fabulous colour in the pumpkin, fabulous colour in the tomatoes, and they're eating really, really nice, the aromas. Same for the round. Good supply of gold sweet potato and the purple. Plenty of salad onions and brown onions. Ginger again is on special this week. Bag like that for three dollars. Dutch creams, um, very well named potato. Uh, they've actually got a, uh, a texture that is quite creamy. Um, so, in terms of waxiness, they're somewhere between a Nicola and a Sebago. Um, so they've got that medium tight kind of structure, and they're really nice as a mashed potato or um, for chipping, baking, boiling. Um, very good all rounder and a magnificent spud. Uh, pines are a little bit bigger this week. Um, heaps of you tried them last week and they're fantastic, aren't they? Bananas have been backwards of the last, uh, back into last week, and what we've also got for you this week, they will colour up, they will ripen, um, but we'll put them somewhere warm. Um, if you've got kiwi fruit, sit them near the kiwi fruit. Um, but they're really uh, an end of week prospect. Apples again are really the highlight. Uh, so we've got the two grades. We've got the, um, the second grade galas and the first grade galas, both from Forest Orchard. If you don't mind the odd skin blemish, they're the ones to go for. Grannies, nice size. Golden Dells, about the same size as the grannies. Our Johnnies this week have come from Forest Orchard. And uh, we've actually only got the seconds in the Jonathans this week. So that's the kind of mark you can expect to see on them very much superficial um, and they're magnificent eating yeah apart from the apples this time of year to me really is about the grapes um, these are your Menindee seedless um, not those big fat flavorless style uh, 
Um, and these have flavour, lovely and sweet. If I had to pick a white crack to eat, um, whilst they're small and they're fiddly, look, the kids will love them. These are brilliant at the moment, the Sultana grapes. Um, you won't get any flavour like it, they're great. If you don't mind seeds in your grapes, then the Red Globe are the ones to go for this week. They're very well priced, um, a bit cheaper than all the other grapes, and uh, also a bit bigger. That's just because that's the way they are, and they're really, really nice. Sometimes I feel like a broken record, but truly everything we're talking about at the moment is really, really good, and that's what I want you to know. And again, the pears, um, Williams, that's the size this week, a few days away from eating, but magnificent. Now, these started at the end of the last week. These are the bear bot. And uh, a crunchier style of pear to the Williams. Both from Greenwood uh, in Victoria, which is a Demeter certified grower, which is biodynamic. Peaches are big, Demeter certified. Uh, they're a day or two away from eating. I admit I haven't tried them um, this week. So I'm not quite sure as to the quality of them. They have been very good. Um, the season is getting towards the end. I would suggest this is your last chance to get a fixed peach. Yeah, really the fruit that I've been building to. Um, the smell of these is just amazing. And uh, we opened a punnet earlier to try and we ate them all. Um, they're magnificent. Um, these little raspberries. Uh, raspberries, great source of vitamin K, uh, magnesium, plenty of vitamin C, manganese, and uh, you know there's like about 30% dietary fibre in every little berry and apart from that the smell and the flavour will drive you crazy. Great little snack I've been meaning to mention for a little while are these date and coconut roll pieces. Um, all organic. Uh, it's a mixture of dates, medjool and, and others. Uh, and there's nothing else added. There's no sugars, there's, there's no preservatives, nothing. It's just date and you've got all that intense sweetness of the date which is then mixed with desiccated coconut which just breaks back that uh, sweetness a little bit and gives it a nice nutty character as well. Um, look, the kids will love them. Good little thing to put into uh, into the lunch boxes. Get around about eight pieces here if you're six dollar mark. So look for those for just a, a nice little interesting thing for the kids' lunch boxes. Plums seem to be coming to something of an end. The Tegan Blues are still great. The Amber Jewels are excellent. The Radiance this week. Uh, we could only source second grade, so there are some skin blemishes, but really quite good. Just restocked in a wonderful range of the yeah, real good food breakfast cereals in the range of gluten free, bircher, toasted, there's also a, a bircher berry style, and a lemon polenta porridge. Sounds great, doesn't it? Um, the thing I love about these products is that they're a whole food, um, they're biodynamic or organic. Um, and so, she, and Serena doesn't uh, skimp on the quality of her, of her ingredients. Um, you can buy them in the jars, and then if you want to save on some packaging and save a few dollars as well, you can then buy the refill packs. Um, a wonderful way to do it. Another little wonderful thing that she does is this high protein mix. Uh, now that's great just to throw onto a muesli. Um, you can even throw it into salads um, or into smoothies. So that's got organic almonds, sunflower kernels, Organic sesame seeds and organic linseed. So essentially, this is uh, yeah, an LSA mix with the bonus of some organic sesame seeds, which is a great source of vitamin C. I'm trying to come up with a finish. No, I'm looking for an out. Good night, Australia. And then wow.